Welcome back to another round of Reflex. Bang. Bag. Bang. Workout. Okay. Let's go. Bang. Bang. Okay, let it be known. I'm working hard when I ain't on the phone. This ain't a hunt. This ain't a phone. Grind never stopping. I'm keeping it cold. I'm if this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Coach J Pro, and in this beginner series, I'm gonna take you from complete beginner to reflex bag master. I've made it really simple for you too. All you need to do is follow along to each video in the order of their progression. For episode number one, it's all about the stance and the key punches. You don't need any gear whatsoever. You don't even need your bag set up yet. You just wanna find a line on the floor. Maybe that's the edge of the carpet, or if you wanna throw down a phone charger, you can, and then we'll get right to it. All right, we got our line set up. We're gonna to get to that in a second. Let's talk about the boxing stance. So, the first thing that we're gonna do is approach our line in a side profile with your dominant hand and foot in the back. For me, I'm a righty. My right hand and right foot are in the back. I'm facing my target, which for me is the camera. For you, it might be a mirror or your bag. Although when you're learning the stance and the punches for the first time, I'd recommend not hitting a physical object. It's just gonna be better for your technique, for you to actually shadow box so you can feel all of the different movements. First thing we're gonna do is position our lead leg, the leg that's in front. We're gonna bring it right up to that line with our toe almost touching at a 45 degree angle. I'm then gonna take my back leg and bring it just over that line with my heel almost touching on the other side. From here, I'm nice and relaxed with my weight on the balls of my feet. And this is why we use the line, because it shows us that having our back foot out in front is what gives us the most balanced position. So you can practice shifting your weight here from lead, your front side, to rear, your back side. Now this might feel uncomfortable at first, that's okay. Anytime you're introducing your body to new movements, new mechanics, it's gonna feel a little weird, it's gonna feel a little awkward, that's okay. You're gonna get more and more comfortable as you practice, I promise. For me, I'm more comfortable in my boxing stance than I am walking to the grocery store like a normal person. So just hang in there. Next thing that we're gonna do is tuck our chin in a little bit. Arms are gonna come in to protect our body. Hands are up at our chin. We're nice and comfortable, nice and relaxed. Both of our feet are at a 45 degree angle. Of course, you can modify this a little bit, make sure that you're comfortable. Most important thing is that back leg is out in front a little bit. Now, obviously when you're training with the bag, you're not gonna have the line there. So just think to yourself, when in doubt, you wanna be on train tracks, not a balance beam. Train tracks, yes. Balance beam, no. So now that we've got the stance down, let's run through the six fundamental punches of boxing. Starting with the one, which is the jab. Okay, 2X beat his shirt, but I been here in the gym. Also known as the lead straight. And anytime we're talking about lead, it's the hand that's in front, rear is the hand that's in back. The one is gonna be your best friend for everything training, especially with the reflex bag. It's gonna be your timing, your control. It's your number one tool. It's also the simplest punch to throw in boxing. All we're doing for the one, is fully extending our arm out and bringing it back into our chin. I'm turning over my hand as I extend and then bringing back in. That's literally all it is. Out at full extension, back in. Practice that one a couple times. Easy to learn, difficult to master. Now for the two and everything up, it's important to note that our power is gonna come from the ground up. The one is the only punch that's really primarily our upper body doing the work. The rest are gonna start from the ground up, starting with a pivot through the hips and torso and ending with the upper body. So now we're gonna get into the two, which is the cross. So for the two, I've got a slight pivot in that back foot, shooting out my, my rear arm and then bringing it back into the chin. Out, full extension and then back in. So you feel the pivot start at your foot, drive through your hips, and then back in. Once you practice those two a couple times, you can put them together in a combination. You can throw a one, two. One, two. 
As I throw that one, as the one is coming back, I'm shooting out the two. One, two. This is your best friend when you first start using a reflex bag. So those are the straights. Now we can move into the rounded punches, starting with the three, which is the lead hook. Now the hooks are a little bit more tricky, so we're gonna break them down into a couple steps. First thing is I'm gonna bring my elbow up to a 90 degree angle. My wrist turns out away from my face. I'm gonna pivot my front foot to drive that punch across. Now think about it as you're squashing a bug with your lead foot. Elbow up, wrist out, squash the bug and drive it across. You can also think of this motion like you're stirring a pot. Again, if you're doing this for the first time, it might feel super weird. It's gonna feel more and more comfortable. Try to stick with those three steps and it's gonna become one motion the more you practice. Then we have the four. Very similar to the three, except it's gonna be our hand that's in the back. Elbow comes up, wrist out, squash the bug, and drive that hook across. Elbow up, wrist out, squash the bug, and drive across. It's good practice for those. What are those bugs that are taking over? Those lantern bugs. Okay, so now we have our one, two, three, four. You can put those together in a combo. One, two, hook, hook. Now let's talk about the five, which is the lead uppercut. Our uppercuts are gonna be similar to the hooks, but instead of kicking that elbow out, I'm just gonna go directly from guard, hinge my hips, and shoot that punch across my body. Driving right across the body, still squashing the bug and hinging the hips. And finally, we have the six, which is the rear uppercut. Here we go, at the top of the class on a roll. Same as the five, but coming from our backhand. Right from guard, driving across our body. You'll notice a lot of these movements are very subtle. We don't wanna drop our uppercut real low and take these monstrous swings. We're not in a Rocky movie. We want nice, subtle movements right from guard. So putting them all together, we have the one, the two, three, four, five, and six. Best thing to do at first is get in front of a mirror and practice going through these punches nice and slow, take your time, and you're gonna get more and more comfortable as you go.